In order to keep the aims, purposes, methods, and membership of a conspiracy secret, it's important that as few people are involved as possible. Frequently, conspiracies, real conspiracies, have restricted the flow of information to their own members, for example, by concealing the identity of some of them from others. Police forces <coughs> and agents of those against whom conspiracies are directed have, as I mentioned, frequently tried to infiltrate them in order to discover what they're doing and who belongs to them. So conspiracies have tried to ensure the loyalty of their members by the threat of retaliation against possible traitors. For example, in the <coughs> notorious Organisation Consul in the early Weimar Republic, which not only assassinated democratic politicians like Walter Rathenau, but also killed those of its own members whom it suspected of betraying them to the authorities. Similarly with the notorious Russian anarchist in the late 19th century, uh, Nechayev, who um, organized the murder of one member of his organization, which he suspected of being a police agent. And the reduction I'd observe, uh, observe of all of this, of course, is to be found in G.K. Chesterton's satirical novel, The Man Who Was Thursday, where all the members of a supposed terrorist plot turn out to be police agents. A fact that doesn't, uh, sorry to give away if you haven't read it. But, um, <laughs> I should have said, uh, spoiler alert, shouldn't I? Uh, and this fact, of course, doesn't stop them from engaging in uh, pitched battles with one another. 